Okay, so now we got the pumpkin carved. Uh, we didn't show this, so we wouldn't waste a lot of time, but it'd be pretty simple uh, to what you do here. Uh, this is a real basic picture of what we could do just to kind of show you how it's done. Uh, once we get this part done, now this is where you can take the rag and wipe off any of the excess, uh, if you got any of the inside seeds or anything like that. Okay, so now here's one of the most important parts once you get your pumpkin done, is you can go to the hardware store and uh, it's very reasonable price and it's a spray lacquer and um, like I say you can get it about any hardware store Walmart wherever and anyway you can take this lacquer and if you watch the pumpkin you'll see how it shines up this lacquer what it does is the purpose is to hold the moisture in on your pumpkin and when it holds the moisture in it seals it which in turn gives it more life uh, on our pumpkin and that's exactly what we're wanting to do and also where you've done the actual cutting of like the eyes the nose and so forth you can spray inside of there and that way it's kind of like closing a, a cut on us with a band-aid that kind of seals the moisture in so anyway so that kind of shows you the basics of what you can do to uh, preserve your pumpkin and to get about two weeks life out of it the other thing I was wanting to show, um, it's all about being creative. It's all about being you, making it fun. Uh, some people like the fun pumpkins, some people like the scary pumpkins, and uh, you can get on the internet and there's a world of pictures you could go to look to, though it suits your lifestyle or, or, or your, um, what you like to do. But here, again, at the hardware store, uh, I just sprayed like some pink paint, some purple paint, some black paint, some yellow paint. And here again, the paint will seal in the moisture. Uh, the pumpkins are in the squash family, which makes them about 80% moisture. And that's what we're basically wanting to do is to kind of keep that moisture in uh, to get more life out of the pumpkin. Then, once you have done your spray painting, if you want to, then you can turn around and then take your can of lacquer and again, just spray it. The lacquer is very clear, it's fast drying, and uh, it's non-harmful if you breathe it. It would be nice to probably maybe have a window open or something, but it's not like it's gonna hurt pets or, or people or anything. And the other thing you can do is, many pumpkins are really popular, the people decorate on their countertops, their um, um, uh, kitchen tables, so forth. And uh, I painted this one pink, where it's October Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And I don't know if you can see it up close, but you also can get canned glitter. We sell it down here uh, at our shop. And the glitter just kind of gives it a sparkle. And that seems to be really popular right now, too, with things you can also do. So, in carving your pumpkin, it's all about making it you, having it fun, and just enjoying it. And in the video what we're doing we kind of timed the process and so you want to allow yourself about 45 minutes to an hour uh, from beginning to end uh, for the basic pumpkin uh, uh, carving now if you get into something a lot more intense it would probably take longer so to summarize what we're saying is basically you want to get you a spoon that is a, a, a stiff spoon. You can either use a knife or you can use something like a, a regular jigsaw, which is what I've been using. Uh, and then here is your can lacquer or spray paints. And then it's always nice to have an old rag or whatever that you can wipe the pumpkin, your hands off, this sort of thing here. So then we get done, we have very little mess and uh, we have very little cleanup. And then we can pull the paper up and throw it away and enjoy our pumpkins. So to summarize what we're saying here, on the pumpkins, to get about two, about two weeks of life out of the pumpkin is, one, you want to wash it off with mild soap and water. Be sure the water is cold. That gets off the bacteria, the dirt, and that sort of thing. Then two, you want to get the pumpkin nice and dry. Then draw your face on there with a magic marker. Then you can go ahead and uh, do your pumpkin carving. 
and get the inside cleaned out as much as you can. That's the most messy part is getting rid of the seeds and all that kind of stuff. That's the longest part. Then the fun really starts in is where you can start carving the face and getting creative and letting those creative juices just come alive. And then the other thing is, is kind of the weather. Kind of watching if we think it's going to be a hard freeze tonight, if you can sit underneath the porch, inside the house, uh, or if it's going to be a really hot day, same thing. And then using the pre-lit lights, they're a lot safer than candles. They'll last a lot longer. Uh, you'll get more life out of the pumpkin. Uh, but you also can still use candles, but the pre-lit lights is uh, a really good way to go to add more life. And then last but all is just having fun, enjoying it, and just making it you. Uh, the neat thing about it is you can do it as a single person, as a young couple, as a family, uh, grandparents, and uh, be sure to come in and get your entry form. It don't cost a thing. Bring your pumpkin in, we'll take a picture, get it on Facebook. The public gets to vote. And then, uh, and let's see, I think it's gonna be October uh, 28th, we're gonna have the drawing. And then you, the people that win will get to draw the prizes here. And while you're also in, you can take a look at the remodel that we've been working on. Take a look at a lot of our new fall items we got going on. And, uh, uh, we're going to start running a lot of neat specials through the winter to just make it fun so you can make it a fun shopping experience for you guys. Thank you very much for watching me and uh, I hope uh, you learned something.